The greenhouse is officially open for business. Did it last through its first winter? And can we deck this space out for the coming summer ahead? Let's find out. Woohoo! DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today we are adventuring into the greenhouse. I'm so excited. It's spring, it's here! <laughs> and also, if you've noticed, I did, in fact, yes, chop my hair off. It is short. Look at it, it's so short. You can see the back of my neck. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I just kind of felt like we needed to chop it off. You know, new season, new do. A couple episodes back, I was talking about my hair. I just needed to find my new armor. I don't know if this is it yet, but it is gonna be mighty nice for the summer. Keep it cool on the neck. I also think I might be getting a sunburn on my neck right now because there's so much neck showing, so okay. But I am mighty excited for this episode because uh, as you guys know, if you're longtime watchers of The Greenhouse Journey, I will link it up above if you haven't seen The Greenhouse yet. It is a four part series but this space kind of turned into something a little bit more meaningful for me throughout its journey and I'm excited to just kind of get inside and feel closer to the people that I miss and I love. <sighs> I haven't actually stepped inside once since we closed it up for the winter so obviously the structure survived but I have no idea what's going on inside if things cracked or if, if animals are in there I have no idea. I also have some big plans for what I want to do and how I want to expand this space so yes we are doing some DIY planning and I am so excited but before we get into it if you are new here hello feel free to hit that subscribe button and join this amazing DIY community. We do all things home home and DIY here and sometimes we can get a bit weird but boy do we love weird. <laughs> so with that said let's get into this greenhouse extravaganza. Editor roll the tape. All right, friends, we are at the greenhouse. We are stepping inside for the first time since closing it down this winter. Before I even do that, I mean, in the front, there's some obvious things that you can see that we're gonna have to update. These two guys here, all the planters are gonna need a little bit of pruning and uh, freshening up. This side was our annuals, which means that they will come back um, annually. So this is just needs to be cleaned up. This side was our perennials, which we had a bunch of sunflowers in there. They are gonna need to come out. I'm gonna probably break them down and we're gonna be composting them, which which is a whole other thing. We're gonna to need to add a compost in behind the greenhouse because that's what I'd like to do with all of the kind of excess greenery and stuff. Oh my God, can I wait? This little front entryway path is gonna to need to be cleaned up a little bit because it's kind of seen some stuff through the winter. Some of the rocks have dispersed. So we're gonna clean that up a little bit, but uh, let's step inside, shall we? I'm kind of nervous. Hello? Oh my God, you know what? It's not as stale in here as I thought it was gonna be. Oh my goodness, everything is just dead, dead, dead. We were storing some furniture in here, so let me get the furniture out and then we can finally step inside. Why don't you carry something? No, I don't want this in. You're doing the opposite of what I need. I need to get out. Let me tell you, I am already feeling the heat a lot, but we are inside officially. And I gotta say, it like feels kind of surreal. It's messy, very, very, very messy, but good news, our fan is working. So I'm a fan of that. I can't, I just like being in here makes me so happy. gotta say I haven't been in here in a while and I'm just suddenly feeling um feeling some feels this was Vince's truck I gave to him for Father's Day I just loved it because it came in a little Ford truck so anyways there is stuff everywhere Oh my God, but there's like fun little things in every corner in here that I forgot about. Old books that survive. Oh my God, this thing, my cup, the gardening notes. Oh. Oh 
Oh my gosh, look at all this fun stuff. Oh my goodness. All right, I could probably stand in here and stare at all this stuff forever, but we need to move on. Um, I'm excited because we just basically need to get everything out of this space. Um, I need to remove all the dead plants and then all the soil that we can keep. I'm gonna put it into the tub so we can reuse it. And we just really need to get this space ready for new plant life to come in. It's not quite ready to have plants live in here full time, uh, but we do have a full garden happening in our kitchen right now. <laughs> that Jeffrey started since I think February. It's kind of been intense. So let me go show you all the plants that we are planning to bring in here. And then I'm going to change and then we are going to get started on this space. Pronto. Woohoo, camera high five. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to the greenhouse number two. <laughs> So check this out. We've had this grow light kind of kick in between these two uh, sawhorses for the entire winter season. We have a bunch of corn in here, which is uh, going into the tub. So really excited about that. Are we gonna grow a lot of corn? Hard to say. Last year, I think we were able to eat three corn on the cobs and they just didn't come out right, so the dog ate them. But you know what? This year, we're feeling, we're feeling good. We also have, we have some tomatoes here in the back. We got a whole bunch of peppers. We got green onions. There's basil here in the front. Let's see, what do we got over here? We have a lot of peas going down. We got cucumber, zucchini. Last year, our cucumber and zucchini came in strong. So I'm kind of excited to see what happens this year because we started really early. So yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty excited about all of these. I think they're gonna migrate over to the greenhouse really nicely. I really want to get into planting some lettuce this year and so that we can kind of have our own mixed greens for salads. Oh, I also have another spot. Hold on, let me come show you. For Christmas, I ended up getting this little click and grow thing. So I have been uh, doing some strawberries here and then I have a tomato plant. So, oh, and then we have some mint right here. And then we also have been planting this sweet potato, which has been growing fiercely. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm gonna go change and then we will get out into the greenhouse and we'll start cleaning that bad boy up. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, I got gloves and I got a coffee. It's a smashing success. <laughs> Is there nothing better than the feeling of sun just like, <laughs> you know? Look how cute these are. My mom gave them to me. They have little hearts on them. Doesn't look cute. Okay, moving on. All right, so we need to just get everything out and then we can clean this thing down. Woohoo! Girl, have you been working out? Me too. Me too. in the sun. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> this year, all we're doing is corn. So that's exciting. A big old tub of corn. It's gonna be the tub where you tell all your corn jokes. <laughs> I'm afraid for the calendar. Its days are numbered. <gasps> Why do golfers bring an extra pair of pants just in case they get a hole in one? <laughs> You know what, singing in the shower is fun until you get soap in your mouth and then it's just a soap opera. <sighs> oh, you corny tub. Can't get enough of ya. It's my superhero pose. Okay, so 
I have a goal this year is to compost in two ways. The first way um, I want to do organic composting. So any of the stuff that comes out of the greenhouse that's like waste or green that die out, I want to be able to put it into this compost. And then for the food compost, we're going to be doing something called vermi composting, which is basically a bunch of composting eating worms. And there's tons of them. And then they just like, you throw your food at them and they're just like, <laughs> this is going to be cool. Today we're doing this composting, which is not quite as fun, but it's going to be helpful. And I need to hook this up so that we can take all this debris and put it into here. What I want to do is cut this board down and basically give this thing a base. It's a little bit warpy because I've had it for some time. It's seen, it's seen some seasons. So I need to actually like stretch it so that this piece works properly. So I'm going to uh, bolt it down to this and then we're going to bury this down under the ground and then we should be good to go. Well, I feel really good. We got this whole thing cleared out. It's not like perfectly clean, but I mean, I just wanted to get some of that like last year's muck out, you know? I feel really good about what I accomplished today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna set up the irrigation system in the morning and I'm so excited to show you guys this fun little contraption. I think it's gonna like game change the greenhouse for good. So I'm gonna go shower and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Right, good morning friends just heading out to the greenhouse right now it's a beautiful day I literally could not be happier today we are going to be putting up the irrigation system so what does that mean so this year Jeff and I really wanted to figure out a way to just best water these plants and make sure that they're you know staying hydrated uh, so we can get the best results that we can in this greenhouse. So I ended up going with this irrigation system. So it actually has like a little drip nozzle. You can make it drip or mist. And so essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up a, a pipe. Well, it's like a, a plastic tube that's gonna run all around the greenhouse. And then there's gonna be like little uh, pieces that will run off each tube. And then each uh, nozzle is going to sit on top of one of our, you know, our big planters. And then when we're ready to plant or we're ready to just have a drip system come down, we can turn it on and Bob's your uncle. Everything gets watered at the same time. I like this, it's a really great system because it means that you're not over watering your plants, but you're also not wasting a lot of water. We are on a well here. So, you know, with these things, we do need to keep these things in mind. Um, so I ended up getting this kit right here. 
I got this off of Amazon for like around $50. It was so affordable, I couldn't believe it. So in this kit, you get this smaller tube. This is gonna, and this tube here. So this is my main tube. This is what runs from the, like the, the main water line. And then we get this smaller tube. This essentially will connect to this tube. Um, and this is what's gonna water all the plants. So they give you these nozzles. So these have a drip capability or a, you know, just like a spray. And um, you also get these little stakes or spikes um, that you can put in the ground or put in your planter and it'll do the same thing. I think I'm gonna focus on keeping these um, first. And then look, you get all your little like connector pieces so you can connect this from this. It's like, you know that game where the water starts running and then you have to like connect all the pipes so that the water can like get to the other side. It's kind of like that today. We are doing that. So our water comes from this spot here so essentially what I want to do is I want to cut a hole down here which is where the, the hose is gonna go through and then essentially it's gonna run up and then I'm gonna have a line that runs all the way underneath here and then it's gonna maybe either come down or I might just go up and over and then it's gonna run all the way down to the other side here and then we take this pipe and then we basically just run it off of this in many different directions so each corner is gonna get a little spike like this. And essentially, then I can run a tube off here, 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 and here. So we get four options of like different directions you can run the water. So that's pretty handy. So essentially, uh, yeah, we get to do a lot of plumbing today, which is kind of exciting. Never done this before in my life. But I mean, like, how hard can it be? You know? Okay, so I got half of it done, but I'm like hesitant to move forward with the rest of it because I don't know how these nozzles function or like what their flow <laughs> is, so to speak. I'm so damn confused. <laughs> so I wanna do a couple tests. I'm gonna turn the water on to see what, uh, what it looks like when it comes out of these nozzles. Um, and then I also want to test how these work, um, essentially, because I want to know if I need to put two, like one on each side of the tub, or if I can just stick one in the middle and it disperses enough for the whole tub. Um, and then once those tests are done, then I can kind of be educated to move forward, so to speak. I'm really scared to turn the water on though because certain certain holes are just gonna spurt out water, but that's fine. We're not gonna panic, it's just water. Right? <laughs> okay, ready? We're gonna turn this on. Okay. So those are still Okay, so these actually have quite a quite a distance on them. You know? That's great. So can we lessen this? Oh yeah, we can. Okay, so they can have a short spout or they, these actually have quite a distance on them. That's great. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> so hot. We're doing it, Peter! We're making water! <laughs> Thank you.
All right, ready? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Irrigation success! Okay, so irrigation is complete, but I'm gonna walk you guys through and kind of show you what I set up, so to speak. So let's start in this corner, shall we? Okay, so essentially we have, like I said, the pipe that starts down here. Um, that's where the water line is connected to. And then it runs up through here. And then basically we start it. So we have a first connector and then we have two little uh, misters here. And then this guy runs here to here. So we have a nice little line. We also have a line that goes up through here. So then up here, because we all have like the big pots that sit up here, I figured having these little emitters up here would be the best case scenario. So this one is like a little eight nozzle emitter. So it just kind of like fans downward like an umbrella. So then, yeah, so then this one has one here and then two off here. And if we ever wanted to add more to these, it's really easy, you just snip the cord and basically just add another line. But the more lines that you add, it just, it means the less pressure that goes to each of them. So you do need to kind of think about how many things you have off of it. But this is great. Um, and because it's the closest to where the hose is, it runs pretty well. And then we have our second line here, which then runs off the same thing. We have the pieces at the top here. We have our emitters at the top and then we have our hose nozzles at the bottom. And then this one was fun. So we ran it all the way to the back here. So there's two lines here that I extended super long because we do keep a lot of like tomato plants down on the bottom here. So I figured at least then we have the long cords, we can stick them down in the tomato plants down here or wherever it needs it. And then uh, we have the option. So there's two of those on long boys here, <laughs> which I'm keeping in the tub for now, but you can turn them off so that they don't get any water if you don't want them. And then on top of that, then in the tub, we have two pieces here. We have one guy here and one guy over there and then they disperse. And then we have this last section over here. We actually didn't need all four. So I just cut two of them off. So we have room for expansion if this place grows. So one, we have a whole uh, thing of nozzles underneath for the plants that are gonna be here. And then we have all these little emitters up here for all of our big, mostly it's gonna be peppers to be honest, <laughs> big things of peppers. So I think uh, overall, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And it works a lot better than I was expecting. But I think once we get everything in here, we're gonna be able to kind of play around and add more to it because I know that this maybe isn't enough, but it's a start. And at least, you know, once we know what's gonna be in here and how it's all gonna function, we can kind of change it around as we please. So it's really exciting to have this in here though. Now that that's done, I think we can get on to our planning stage of this programming. Um, we're gonna be talking expansions, so let's go outside and I'll talk to you about the expansions. talk expansion shall we obviously we can't grow everything in this space um, you know there needs to be room for growth and we thought the best way to do this is with raised garden beds so I have these little walkway paths here and I thought the way to expand it is to kind of continue on this pathway into the yard don't worry guys I asked Kenobi if he minds if I take his playground and he said it's okay for now <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, I want to take these path uh, stones and kind of just pave them all the way out to here. We're going to build one giant uh, raised garden bed here. Maybe put some like lettuce in here, um, you know, just uh, some cucumber. Maybe have like a lattice so that the cucumber can grow up the lattice. Um, and then do a second raised garden bed right here. And then I was thinking it would be really nice to have like some kind of arch that kind of comes over the top of it. So there's kind of like this like secret garden walk-in moment, you know, when you're coming into like the raised garden bed area. Um, and then the pathway will kind of connect it to the greenhouse, which I think is gonna be kind of nice. 
but you know, I, I haven't fully like placed it out. I'm still in the planning stage. So you guys are seeing my drawing. This is kind of like my initial starting thoughts of where it could go. So I am open for suggestions. You guys should let me know in the comment section, what do you think I should, you know, add to this? If you're gardeners out there, I know we have some experts watching. So let me know what you think. Uh, when it comes to raised garden beds, is there anything I need to know? Comment down below. But I have one more thing to show you guys. And I thrifted this recently least and uh, it's gonna live in the greenhouse so let me show you I got this for $15 um, just at like you know honestly it was like a junk shop to be fair uh, but how cool is this so this is an old-school horse feeding bag um, it's definitely seen some stuff but it has these holes here because the horse used to stick their head into the bag and they'd be eating and then this would help them breathe but it was so beautiful and so worn and the leather so used I was like oh ooh, that's my kind of find but I just thought it would be so beautiful in here and I kind of thought two things one put some dirt in here and then have flowers coming out of it but then I was like this also might be kind of useful to have tools coming out so you guys should let me know what do you think I should do use this for um I did a vote on my patreon everyone said we should probably do tools but you guys let me know know do you agree tools or garden like flowers coming out of it I kind of love it though it definitely goes with the vibe of my leather belt and kind of the vintage vibe in here so I'm excited about this I might actually have to start adding some more hooks because uh, we're getting kind of tight but maybe I'll put it here for now we'll hang it off here how cute does that look with the tools then we can put this fun right I don't know I mean I also have this guy he's ahead of the game so <laughs> using your noggin aren't ya but yeah I don't know this could be fun or it's fun to fill this up and then you can take this to go and like mend the gardens you know I like it but you guys let me know what do you think flowers tools or new idea that was slightly exhausting, but that was really fun. I just love spending time in here. I hope you guys also love spending time in here with me. There's gonna be a lot more greenhouse content coming your way. Um, my mom's gonna be coming down and helping me do a bunch of stuff around here, helping me with a raised garden bed. So I feel like it's gonna be a special journey for her too, but stay tuned. I hope you're excited. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss all the greenhouse content. Sending so much love to my Patreon family. If you are looking for a place to celebrate your love of DIY, for people to root you on, or maybe you need some advice, my Patreon is definitely the place for you. Go check it out. It is linked in my description box. And of course, my friends, stay positive, stay creative, get out in that sun, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.